Every magician has a four ace trick they like to do. So this is my favorite one. It's pretty simple. I'm going to show you the trick and then I'll teach you how to do it. So it does work with a standard regular deck of cards. There's no trick deck here, only four aces. It's a regular standard deck. You take the four aces and then we're going to show the spectator that we have just the four aces and one at a time, we're going to place them back into the deck. So we'll start with the diamonds, then the spades, then the hearts, and of course the clubs. I'll place them onto the table and then one at a time, you're going to go back into the deck into four different spots. We'll start with the hearts. So the hearts will go somewhere close to the bottom of the deck. Yet the next one is going to go here. Third one goes here. And the fourth one, the clubs, go right about there. So we have four aces going into four different parts of the deck. You see them cleanly going into the deck. Square it up. Place the deck down. Now, no funny moves, nothing else in my hands. You just wave over the top. And the four aces jump right back to the top of the deck. And again, there are no additional aces in this deck. So there's a couple of moves you'll have to learn for this trick, but they're all pretty simple. And it works on the premise where the spectator thinks you're only holding four cards in your hand, but you're actually holding seven. So you have to somehow sneak three additional cards underneath the aces. I'm going to show you how to do that. What's great about this trick is there's no pre-work, no, no setup needed. You can do this right in front of the spectator. So you take the four aces out, you're going to stack them up on top of the deck, and then you're just going to display them. You say, look, I have the four aces. Here's where the first secret happens, though. As you spread the aces, you're going to spread past them, counting three additional cards, and you're going to get your pinky underneath those three. So it's going to look like this. You'll say, look, I have the four aces. I'm counting three additional. I'm putting my pinky underneath here. So when I square it back up, it looks like I'm picking up the four aces, but I'm actually picking up the four aces plus three additional cards. So one more time, it's going to look like this. I'll say, look, I have the four aces, and what I'm going to do is flip them over one at a time. Now, I've picked up seven cards. They think I only have four, though. Now, one at a time, with my thumb, I'm going to pull the top card off it, and I'm going to announce it. So I have the ace of spades. I'm going to use these cards to flip it over. The diamonds, the clubs. And when I get to the last one, I'm going to drop the entire pack on top. So they think I just dropped the ace, but I actually dropped the ace plus three more random cards, and they don't know that those are there. And then I'll take the ace, and I'll flip that card over like that. So now I can deal them onto the table, and they think that I'm dealing the four aces when I'm actually dealing an ace plus three random cards. So now, as you're looking at these and I say, look, I'm going to flip them over. I'm going to put them back in the deck one at a time. While I'm saying that, I'm going to secretly push this card forward and pull back so I get a pinky break. So it's going to look like this. Push forward, pull back. I have a pinky break. So it's going to look like this. While I'm dealing, let me just put these back and I'll say, so I have the four aces. I'm going to put them on the table. And then one at a time, see, I've already gotten it now. I did the pinky break there. I'll say one at a time, I'm going to push them back into the deck in different parts. I'll grab the second one, because this, this will line up with the one I'm going to show them in a second. I'll say, I'm going to put them back in the deck one at a time. And now I'm going to flip this over as two cards that look like one. It's a double turnover. Now, there's many ways to do this move. I do a very simple version of it. There's, there's a lot of like trickier, like it looks advanced to flip it over and spin it around. I don't like to do all those fancy things. I just very simply, I pick up this card, which is not an ace. I have my pinky break. I put it on top, and I say, look, I'm going to put them back in the deck, starting with the clubs. Now, I've got two cards, but they don't know that, right? So I say, just with the clubs. I flip it back over. First card goes at the bottom of the deck. Now, I'm not putting an ace. I'm putting a random card. It goes somewhere close to the bottom. Now, I announced which one that was. The next two, I'm not going to say anything about. I'm just going to put them in because they're not aces, but they don't know that. So I'm going to say the second goes here. Third one goes here. And the fourth one, I'll just flash it quickly. The hearts will go. And I'm going to make sure that when I count, I don't go more than three cards down. Because don't forget, the top three cards are the other aces. So as long as I go within the top four cards of the deck and I push this one back, it's already on top and I've got the four aces on top. Now, I push them back in, square it up. The magic is done. Now you can talk, do some fake move. And when you flip them over, the four aces are on top. Now, inevitably, when you show these four aces, someone is going to always say, oh, you've got more than four aces in the deck. And this is the fun part of the trick because you can flip the entire deck over, spread it out and show them there are no additional aces.